So you can look at the story one of two ways. You can look at it as a story of perseverance and overcoming objections, that, that it is. Or you can look at it as a growing story. Mm -hmm. Then it wouldn't have even mattered if Job had ever gotten one thing back on this world. Mm -hmm. Because we're not supposed to what, put much value in these things. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to put a lot of value over there. Mm -hmm. What is forever compared to right now? Well, first of all, right now is in front of us. So it's easier to fall onto a right now than it is to think about forever. Mm -hmm. But heaven is what? Forever. Yes. This is temporary. Mm -hmm. 70 or 80 years. 80 if you're lucky. 80 if you're lucky. 90 if you're just miserable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this life is what? A vapor. And then we're gone. Mm -hmm. So even if God had not chosen to give Job back anything, Job would have still been ahead for the count. Yes, because I guarantee you, I still guarantee you, even the story ending up the way it did, that Job's reward over there is still much greater than all he received down here. Mm -hmm. So obviously Job had some things that needed to be worked out of his life. And they were. But what I found at the critical part of the story, Job is lying with sores from head to toe, sitting in the ashes of his life. Will you go there with me? Not literally the ashes, but figuratively, the ashes of his life. How many of you have been there? Mm -hmm. Amen. Body sore from head to toe. And his wife said what? Job cursed God mm -hmm. and died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, why do you think she said that? Do you think she really cared about her husband that much? Or you think she was tired of going through that mess? Mm -hmm. She was tired of going through that mess. How many of you have ever been with somebody and they're going through a lot of trouble and it would just be easier if they just cursed God and died? <laughs> I'm sure the people that are around me have went through some unnecessary, well, necessary, but to them, unnecessary things because of my calling. But you know what? The Bible says if you suffer with me, you'll what? Reign with me. Mm -hmm. So that should tell you what about this life? We're going to have to do a little what? Suffering. Suffering if we're going to do a lot of what? Raining. Raining. Again, this life is temporary. Mm -hmm. Everything here is temporary and subject to change. But what is permanent and forever and never will change? Heaven. Heaven. The city of God. Mm -hmm. Who will never change? God. God. He said, I am the same yesterday, yesterday. Today. today, and forever. Mm -hmm. He has not changed not one bit since in the beginning, mm -hmm. and he will not change throughout, amen. Mm -hmm. He's going to be the same, mm -hmm. which makes it great for us, Brother Jack, because that means he's what? Dependable. Yes. Mm -hmm. That means if he said he was going to do it, come hell or high water, he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. And Job knew that. Mm -hmm. And Job basically said to her, you're crazy. But I'm sure she thought he was the crazy one. How could you still serve him when he's doing this to you? Mm -hmm. You know what? Honey, I'm paraphrasing it. Mm -hmm. If I'm going to love God on the good days, i got to love him on the bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there have been a couple bad days, or more than a couple, but if there have been mm -hmm. some bad days in a row, I'm still going to love him. Mm -hmm. Because there's a promise that a good day is coming. Yeah. What's the Bible say? Joy comes when? In the morning. In the morning. It can't rain always, folks. Mm -hmm. It can't always be bad. Upper room, it can't always be bad. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the God just has to let the devil tempt us and try us so that God knows yes. whom we serve. Yes. yes. So that God knows he can what? T-R-U-S-T. -T. Mm -hmm. Trust us. It ain't always about us trusting him. Mm -hmm. He got to be able to trust us. Yes. Can the devil say to God tonight, think about that. Have you considered my servant, Carl? Are you in a position where God can say that tonight? Well, these little conclaves happen all the time between God and the devil. And obviously God picks us to go through some of these trials, just the same as the devil randomly picks us. Mm -hmm. For no good reason, God picks us for his glory. Mm -hmm. Don't you see all the mighty men of God throughout the Bible were picked by God? but had to go through hell mm -hmm. to get there? Yes. There's a country song, but I think it's a gospel song, so I'm going to say it. 
If you're going through hell, keep on moving. Don't slow down. If you're scared, what? Don't show it. You might get out for the devil even knows your name. I like that because you know what? If you don't act like you're scared, you don't act like you're in trouble, guess what? You're not going to look like you are. Mm -hmm. Which, guess what? The devil can't read your thoughts. Mm -hmm. He only knows what he can see and what he can hear. Mm -hmm. So you're going to shock him. He's going to go, I'm putting him through hell. And he's still acting like that. Mm -hmm. Is he going to turn up the heat? That's the downside to this action. Mm -hmm. What's the upside? The master's going to be able to see his reflection in you. Yes, All these impurities are going to leave. Yes. All these little things that beset us, instead of the small thought spoils the heart. Mm -hmm. All these little things that beset us are going to be gone. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you like to get rid of this petty crap and just be able to be close to God for one? Yes. Amen. Amen. It's not big things that keep us in the way. We know thou shalt not kill. Mm -hmm. That's common sense, right? Mm -hmm. But it's these little bitty things that get in the way of us and God. Uh -huh. yeah. It's innocent things to us, but they're big things to God. Amen? Amen. Amen. We're going to continue next Sunday studying Job a little bit. Uh, we're going to talk about the unsung hero in Job's story. There's always an unsung hero in a story, it just seems to me. People that don't get credit or things or whatever, that don't get credit for what they did. And the Bible's full of them. A lot of unsung heroes. So next week we're going to talk about the unsung hero of the story of Job. And guess what? I'll tell you right now. It ain't Job. Mm -hmm. He gets plenty of credit for what he did. Right? Mm -hmm. I have some orders of business to take care of.